we have an $100 donation from Garsh, who sums up my opinions on these puns. He says, if Dante could hear these puns, it would be called Devil May Sigh. <sighs> and we have some hype for the next run, uh, Streets of Rage from JIHHX. Streets of... Oh. I like it. Streets of Rage, favorite game as a child, carried well into adulthood. Happy to donate to great cause with awesome runners and the best support staff. Can't help but agree. And speaking of Streets of Rage, it looks like we are ready to have Streets of Rage on hardest with Cespato. What's up? Yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Sepatu, and there's my lads, my dudes. There's Faust, there's Fat Buddy, there's Sonic Man, there's Chrono, there's Pancakes, there's Diagram, there's everybody. And there's. You can introduce yourself? <laughs> all good. So we have all like, good dudes and persons here. So I will start very soon. I will just set on our desk just very quick. This game are, on hardest. Y'all are in for a Wee. show, yo. So I will play as Blaze, but Adam is too slow. Axel yeah, is not a big reach. So Blaze is just the best. Just play as Blaze. Don't play other characters. It, she's, she's the best. Blaze hype. Hype. So just for the records, the time starts as soon as I get underground. So five, four, three, two. One start. Yeah. Woo! So, Woo! so coming up, we finna walk to the right and diddy bop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, Pat here, he is the master of what we call the wiggle. Yeah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> he'll uh, keep his thumb on the D-pad, and what he'll do is he'll switch between left and right movements while jamming the action button and it creates this big loop and stun loop between groups of enemies. You'll see some pretty messed up stuff coming up with that. And this game is all about grouping them because on harder difficulty, they are they have too many HP and there are too many. So just group them and dance with them. And you see, Blaze is like high-fiving all of them. They just high-five. So they are all of my friends. They are not dying, they are just going at their place and they are just having fun with me. Yeah, they're just taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're just a nap. You know what I mean? You get swamp, you take a nap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so coming up, you'll see, even if he doesn't have any enemies behind him, he's still going to use that wiggle technique because it's actually going to allow him to chain uh, more rapidly. And, and, and we're going to start boogieing, you know what I mean? Got the yeah, fuzzies exactly. on you, boy. <laughs> start boogieing for the fuzz. So there's the police call, there's too many enemies, it's too difficult to deal with all of them, so we have 10 seconds to just do nothing, so we're dancing. It will happen all over Tehran, so get used to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be excited yeah. for the Fetty rallies, you know what I'm saying? They roll yeah. through every once in a game. Exactly. <laughs> Olé. There's just simply too many enemies on the screen because in Hardest they just spawn yeah. a bunch and <laughs> yeah. it just starts lagging so much. Yeah. Just like drop frames like no other. You got Blaze looking like a JoJo's kid. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. So we're coming, it's the, it's the first boss. So it's the best boomeranger in the world, but he's no match for us. We are the best. We are ex-police officers, so no, nobody stop us. Also, uh, banger alert, this song's a banger. Yes, it is. <laughs> Too bad we only hear it for a good 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> And since it's a long nice time, it's a long time before other enemies or other stuff. We have time for a donation, so go ahead. Sure, sure thing. We have a twenty-five dollar anonymous donation who says, "Heard that five dollars would put us at half a million. Figure I'd rather see it two point five million. So here's to making it happen. Be sure to get them donations in. So here it's always the same. You just wiggle your way to victory. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> no, no big deal, always about that. Those guys tries to throw you. I'm, saying, I'm finna sit here and head nod the whole time. This beast is funky. <laughs> and then the bass line. Listen That's to the bass line. Same, man. You got them picking on it. 
This part, yeah. They just ride that. That's subtle. <laughs> oh, oh, it's time to start wiggling again, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of a little bit of the sign to sign. Listen to the beat. Shout out to the usual school. That, that's my dudes there. All fun. <laughs> Hype. Oh, hi. Hi. Be sure to get them donations in for what kind of dancing you want to see us do. Arc it up in salsa. <laughs> oh, le tingle. <laughs> so using Blaze is, as Pat said, pretty much preferred because her reach is just so long and her speed, when you just manipulate the wiggle with her length and her so speed, clean. it's just very, very clean the whole time. And all she got to do is just wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> And yeah, you'll see, as you mentioned before, just grouping enemies, basically walking to the right until he has a good time to actually strike on everyone that's coming on screen. We'll see you go into the middle. And one thing you're going to see later on in the run as well is uh, when we get around 14 to 16 enemies, um, the game actually can't process that many sprites on screen. So you can actually use it to your advantage to despawn yep. some, some harder enemies later on in the run. This is very true. You know, as we've learned from Castlevania, ground meat always tastes the best. <laughs> <laughs> ground meat, more like ground beef. <laughs> beef! <laughs> What's for dinner? You know, it's Tonight. Cool. It's like instead of dusty old turkey, you get moldy turkey in a trash And here can. is Wolverine. Look at him. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. it's like dropping a young combo. Yeah. It's good. Hey, 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 hey. B, C, D, E, F, G. All good. It's all done. Yeah. <laughs> so, he was originally to uh, keep Wolverine in the corner like he did with the first boss, but since yes. he lost the grip on him, he just kind of did the backup strat, which is when you just kind of do the punch punch and then release them and then quickly grab them again. So he just did that backup strat to, did it, to get it done quickly. Also, y'all, if you thought it was over, another banger alert. It's going to happen a lot in this run. Yuzo Goshino always drops bangers. So. It has the best music. <laughs> So since it's a long moment, you can read another donation there. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure thing. We have two hundred dollars from Beefy Tacos, who says, "Blaze high! Blaze high! Blaze, Blaze is number one!" <laughs> I just, I just love how everyone's like yeah, suddenly even, bobbing their You, you look at the people on production right now. Everyone's, everyone's doing like, what we do yeah. on the couch right now. Everyone head nod to this, man. It's <laughs> the true mark of great music. It's that Summer Jams Volume 66 coming out of the trash and trunks, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so be ready, guys. I want even you in the crowd just to dance because it, it will be another police call very soon. Yeah, show us your best dance moves, you know what I'm saying? Get out, break a stanky leg, you know what I'm saying? Start jerking, you know all of them. Do the electric slide. Let's go, guys! Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Alright. I had to get the Vogue. <laughs> I had the Vogue on him, so you know what it is. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for that. Wait till I lean with it and or rock with it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> 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 but you know what? That was the quickest thunderstorm ever of all that rain. Just three seconds. And so, hey. if y'all didn't know, this is what April O'Neil does in her off time. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's funny you say that because the guy in yellow, me and my sister, used to call him the Turtle Man. Damn. Back in the day. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate warrior and Blaze doing the tango. Hey, 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 You know a game good when even the round end music is good, bro. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, now we on a boat. When this one kicks in. 
No, we are on the, the bridge in country. Oh, it is a bridge, that's yep. right. The bridge, yeah. Oh, you hear it out of the right. <laughs> oh my, it's so good. It just creeps <laughs> up on me. It's like, ooh. <laughs> hey, honestly, guys, I want wow, you to understand. Was a great dodge my, their whip attack. My man is doing so many inputs per, like, per second right now. Like, it's insane. And we can get a bit of a hand cam on this man. Just, just pay attention. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's insane. Insane? Insane? <laughs> so now there's there's bits everywhere. We won't be using much of those except at the at the end. He's really gonna take advantage of the fact that there's pitfalls in this level. I know, right? <laughs> Same with the uh, one later level. We're gonna not gonna discuss it though because. Ooh, nice. So, yeah, that... so right there he got thrown, and actually in this game, um, there's an input that you can do to actually land on your feet, and not take any damage from a throw. And that input is up and C. And most that. people, most people, at least me and my friends, didn't know that growing up. We thought that was something that Streets of Rage 2 only, and I actually found that out from chilling with these guys more look, often. Look at this, walking like Denzel in training day, not even worried, you know? <laughs> Putting the chest <laughs> though on him. Oh. Then another time. Oh. Let's go, guys. <laughs> hey, ho. Hey. hey. Oh. <laughs> Hip hop hooray! <laughs> Just look at that wave graphics in the background. Oh, I know what I'm saying, man. They were wavy before being wavy was cool, yo. Like, I know, right? <laughs> but this is almost music. like it's going to the beat. That's the unedited cut of under the do rag, you know what I'm saying? Just waves, <laughs> boys. Just waves. Shoot. The... So you've seen me kill myself there just to get another body skull for this particular stage. If I'm done, not perfect like I am right now, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, you're doing phenomenal. Keep yes, it up. you are. I will have called the police. But I'm doing so great that I don't need to call He's it. He's so godlike, he doesn't need to. He just <laughs> don't need but, to. Hey, I'm calling the cops. Uh. <laughs> Is it not police brutality? <laughs> So I will keep the knife here just because the enemy coming to me at me will annoy me. So he wants a little pokey, pokey, pokey. It's butterbean, <laughs> y'all. It's butterbean. <laughs> and bye. <laughs> he had hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Woo. Hey. 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 So unlike in Streets of Rage 2, where you can actually toss that guy, in Streets of Rage 1, if you try to throw him, he'll collapse on you. And that wastes a ton of time. The animation frames is just so long. And so one thing that hasn't been mentioned throughout this too. run yet, too, that's very, very impressive by Sasquatch 2, generally, Sasquatch will play on a um, emulator version of this game because it saves a crazy amount of time. You'll see right here when we're walking to the right with all these enemies on screen, it's just, it's, it lags the game to a crazy no! amount. Oh. But he's been able to, to take that look. See, we talked earlier about the sprite limit. So you see just little heads floating out. Yeah. Genesis can't handle too, too much. No, not too much. It's one of the earlier black box games, though. You know what I mean? Yes, Being this early, this is impressive. Definitely helped the Genesis in North America, at least. Also, guys, shout out to Sega, you know what I mean, for coming up soon. We have Yuzo Koshiro, who actually made the menu music and all of, all of the YM2612 sound chip coming up on the Sega Genesis Mini. Be sure to buy that. Yeah, it's great. It's looking up to be a good one. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Papa Joestar would be proud, yo. Yes, he would be. <laughs> you would be. So now I have not used a police call even if there was a lot of, uh, of people because here it saved like maybe one second or two just to call it right now. So uh, again! Uh, yeah. uh, 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 <laughs> the cab is fat! And oh don't God. The cab is fat. <laughs> Don't do that at home. Don't try far. <laughs> don't go far on a wooden boat. Don't do that. <laughs> Somehow this boat is still intact. I uh, know, right? That boat was definitely not made by IKEA. <laughs> oh no, it's not. And then think about Elias rock the boat. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Rock the boat. <laughs> don't rock the boat, baby. <laughs> and what I also like about this stage is that the boats float and go down yeah, and down. Rock the boat. That's another thing yeah. I like about this stage. Rock the boat. Not to mention the music again, like we always say about this game. That 808. <laughs> my, man, my man had the traps and trunks, bro. I'm yeah. telling you. 
And now we will have a, another dance with our... We, I wish we can get this on camera. Every, every <laughs> single person in Ultimate Warrior is rocking with us right and now. And Blaze in Act 2 of the Tango. Yeah, and I don't even need to check the bus because you guys are there for me. Without free this <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Woo! I'm gonna applause for you. Let's get loud with yeah, this, man. He's nice. right now. He's doing the dog yeah, he's going through pretty quick. Which is always what we want. Look at them boys. Look at them. Look at all those jackets. They can't have half of them. Oh, yeah. Oh. I like how half of them are all, like, chopped up. <laughs> <laughs> so here's those too many in me. So another time, just a police call. Deal with uh, everyone. Hitting them with the waka flock of flame and continue, and you know what it is. Yeah. Waka flocka. <laughs> Brr. So uh, here, it's another time. Just group them all and wiggle your way to victory. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> What is this man with the bag? He's like, I'm just waiting for my opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> he came in creeping like, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? And here I will need a moment of silence because I will try to hard strat about this bus. All right. Twin blazes are the reset point for any Streets of Rage one runner. Yeah. If you don't get that manipulation right, their patterns are completely RNG. And well, I mean, you can manipulate them still, but they just go all over the place. And it's just so annoying to get them grouped up again. You'll see there, like when yeah. he was coming into the uh, initial part of that screen, he was jumping and kicking over and over again. That was just to keep the enemies in the placement that he wanted them so we can group them again and get all of them defeated in a timely manner. Yeah, man. And now it will be a nice time for a donation. Oh, that bass boom. Uh, we got it. We have $100 oh, from Anthopan. Oh, oh. oh. Anto. Uh oh. Say <laughs> pato. Hit the guys. <laughs> Hit the guys. <laughs> Thanks, Anthopans. Oh, nice. That was great. That was a oh. really good lock. Oh, Very that good. was awesome. Very good. Do you have another time for a donation? There's the fourth bus, so. All right, well, we have $50 from Nikasor, who says, donate for the wiggle, 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 wiggle. Donate <laughs> for the music. Donate for the dancing couch. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. I mean, this whole soundtrack is so good. Look at my mans, yo. He's gonna need a neck massage after this. <laughs> the whole time, on production, yo. Killing it. Hmm. Nice. And trust me, this might look really easy, but this is the hardest difficulty in the game, and Seth is making it look like cake, cake right now. Yeah. Oh, like, honestly, I mean, he's, he's making it look like child's play. I, 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 I challenge like anyone in this venue to please, right please go play this on hardest after this, if this looks easy. Like, please. Please. <laughs> what if you, you, used you, 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 you're going to catch some lumps of 16 enemies rolling you down, dog. <laughs> What's up? You in the wrong neighborhood, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> So here it will be probably the only time that you will see me using uh, the knife because it was I'm more efficient with the knife than with the baseball bat and you can throw the knife to just remove it as well so yeah the baseball bat has an animation frame where you kind of wind up and you're open to get hit yep <laughs> <laughs> get by <Press. laughs> no it's get smashed <laughs> <laughs> And here we will see the pipe. And I will try that. Oh, nice. Oh, oh no. Oh. But if oh. the, the enemy have died. He wasn't ready. <laughs> he wasn't ready. The, 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 the guy have died under the press in one hit because uh, 
that uh, if you grab someone in the back, it will instantly kill the enemy. Oh man, it, it doesn't depend on how much HP they have, they will instantly die. But you will get damage as well. So that's why usually I don't do it. And I'm using the pipe. I mean, be like Nike, just, yeah, <laughs> just, just don't, just don't. Just don't. <laughs> oh, there goes that guy. There goes that guy. <laughs> God, the bass boom. I can't get over it. Man, oh. the bass line in every stage is amazing. For it to be this early in the Genesis life, life and like this good of music, go use a little hero with God. Too good, man. For Shinobi just speaks a rave. Woo! The other thing about this game is that there are certain enemies or certain amount of enemies spawning other persons, so you have to keep track of who is still alive and who you need to kill. And then once you do that, all you need to do is wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so now there's the second boss, but twice. There's two of them. Two Wolverines! And if I mess up, it will be at least five seconds last, so... But since I'm... No! Ah, spoke too soon. Yeah, exactly. So there's the first one. Like every early Sega game, but it can again, be very unforgiving. Yo, nice yeah. re-grab. You'll see he's waiting there for a little bit on the first set of the cycles just to be able to grab him again. Nice. <laughs> he had two dash partners. <laughs> That's the tango. And since the elevator is so slow, we have time for donations. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a good time for it. So uh, we have $25 from Buddy Cthulhu. It says, came for speedruns, staying for best dance 2019. <laughs> Streets of A. Hey, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My dudes, man, I love you. <laughs> hey, Pat, you got this. You got I remember this. killing it. Look at that, he's trying to go to the 11th floor. He said we VIP executives. I know, My right? favorite track of this entire game. Yeah, no, this is, this is the banger of bangers in this one, yo. Look at them keys. So all this stage is about throwing people off the elevator. I don't want to be the janitor there. He has a tough job after at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> this was the stage I was referring to earlier on the highway stage. It's just a huge pitfall over on the side, so. I mean, out. I mean, as you see, this is a WWE Royal Rumble. Yeah, he's hitting them <laughs> he tossed them out the ring. They're out. He hit they the they they bird right now. <laughs> 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 so we have time for another donation. Go ahead. Sure thing. We have five dollars from Mash, who says, "Show Mr. X why it's not a good idea to mess with the same." Right. Yeah. Have fun, yeah. buddy, and thanks for teaching me the game. You and the others have been great. We love you. <laughs> yes, we do. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> and in Street of Rage 1, you can't get out, uh, remove the item from you. But if you're going onto that pole and just falling down, you don't have the weapon anymore. Except a knife, obviously. I just, I just want to report in. My man in the purple and the beanie is still head not. He, he is tired. That's right. Time. We get you, man. Hey, man we this, see you. This is the last track. stage. We keep it up. Sega boys for life. <laughs> Sega crew for life. Shout out to the blast process. <laughs> That roll, the. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, little guy. Thank you. And now, because we are doing. Per, uh, we, oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> we were somewhat mid HP, so we don't lose time with that. Also, I love how the police can roll up all the way up here. I know, right? They have great accuracy. Yes, they do. Right. Toss them out the ring. Toss them out. Like WWE. <laughs> Eliminate it. Come on. <laughs> Instead of getting wrecked, get tossed. <laughs> 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 I knew it was it was happening. I just wanted to do it for you guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh! 
So another time for the donation before stage eight. Uh, yeah, sure. We have a hundred fifty dollars for Lendu. Who says, to my dear old friend Pat, happy to see you in this awesome event and so that you can show your skill. We're all cheering you from Quebec. Nice, thank you very much. Right on. I'm gonna hit him with the E Honda right now. Hunter hands slip. Boop, 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 boop. And don't get the, those kicks are like Chun Li. <laughs> hands and feet. So, stage rate is all about doing all the buses again and again. And we have sometimes the um, hotel service giving us tables for some reason. <laughs> but you have to be aware of that. That's why I have to be waiting on my reservation for so long <laughs> when I call in room service, bro. Room service. Room going service. Out, right? Yeah, because it's, 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 like... it's just be killing bad guys on the way to Mr. X. I understand. I know, right? I, I'm glad that my steak <laughs> contributes, bro. Just kicking the steak. <laughs> So we have time for another donation. It's the first bus, all the same. We have $10 from Based Windu, who says, had to donate again, because say Pato and the couch is lit. Hey, oh! Hey, oh! Hey, ho! So hip hop, so hippity hip hop, hip hip hop, hip hip hop, hooray! <laughs> oh, the bass boom in this one too, that's oh, right. No, the bass line, this is the bass line. We have $10 from an anonymous donor who Ooh. says, this Streets of Rage commentary is on point. Great cause, great community. Let's wiggle, 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 wiggle our way out. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. That donation was on point. Let me thank you for that. So another one since it's the same bus. Wolverine! But we have time that someone else will play this bus for me because it's so simple. So come here, Faust. And do I want to have applause for him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. so you, guys, you just have to hold right. And, okay. And it's easy to jump and you will re up in front. So after that, just attack, attack, flip over, attack, attack. So you so can do it. Punch, punch, jump. Yeah, exactly. All right. All basic of that. So go ahead. Okay, so hold right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Woo. Right on. Good job, man. Let's go, Faust. Oh. oh. You, you waited too soon. My bad. No, My bad. no, 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 no. Oh, no. I messed it up. <laughs> oh, it's that close. Yeah, it was that close. close. <laughs> <laughs> but you had your chance. It's that's what that matters. It does. Fat Potty had to uh, use the lavatory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Couldn't hold it. He could hold it no longer. He said he had to go. No shame. I'll call him out. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> So I have a $25 uh, donation from Aaron60, and I think you'll like this one. Streets of Rage couch is the best couch of the night. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Thank you. That's right. Show it off. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. oh, there it is. Olay. And I ain't talking about the lotion. <laughs> We have $50 from Lydia Goat Dog, who says, thank you for all the positive energy and good vibes being projected from this run. This has been the most fun and pleasant one tonight. I need to hear someone, anyone on the couch yell, yo, do you want to learn how to do an infinite? Hey, hey, <laughs> Pat, do it. Someone. Someone, I can do it. Can you? I don't know. Do you want? What's the phrase? Do it, Sonic Man. You What's got a deep voice. What's the phrase? What's the phrase? Go on. Go on. What's the phrase? Sonic Man's got the deep voice. Go ahead. You can. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh look at it. Here, fat body will say it. <laughs> fat body, say it. Say it, fat body. What am I saying? Oh, okay, I know what I'm saying. I'm sorry, this run's so hype, I had to go run an entire lap around the marathon. Look, 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 look. The I, did, you know, so I, I, think I, I think that's the new goal split. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. 
the phrase is Mama said Mama saw Mama Mama said Mama saw Mama saw Mama Those dudes, man. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> and now uh, there's the other trick of this bus. You still have to grab both of them and it's it's hard to do. It's not from perfect, but it's very difficult. It's precise and timing, but it's it's all over that. So we have time for another donation. I think you'll like this one. Streets of Rage was the first game I had in my Genesis and have great memories of playing with my dad. Blaze hype and crush the annoying twins. <laughs> yes. 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 All right, so we're so coming up. You finna see that Mr. X keep that thing on him, bro. Yeah, he's, he's extremely hard so, to face. So he's asking us, do we want to be his right hand man? Do, do we accept, guys? No. 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 But if we would have said yes, back to stage six, six yeah. and 15 more minutes to play. <laughs> Mr. X lumpier so. than old potatoes, bro. I'm just saying. So Mr. X is an extremely hard fight normally, and on hardest, it is extremely difficult, and hopefully Pat will demonstrate that yeah. he makes it look like slicing cake. Okay, a moment of silence, please. Nice. No! No! Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. Good no, 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 no. Oof. Ah, oh, man. Hit it with that it's so hard. Elbow. So the reason why he's kind of like, uh, is because the two AI villains below Mr. X are going to come up and punch him. He doesn't want that to happen. So as we just yeah. saw. Very similarly to Golden X, when you do the final fight, there are two enemies on screen yep. that cannot be defeated no matter what you yep. do. And if you do defeat them, they just they just respawn. They just respawn. Anyway, so. And what, you get like a two second window of nothing, if, if and it's that. like... Yeah, see? Yeah. That butt of the gun. I mean, it's like in a hip with a right by Mike Tyson. And trying to get back to him, it's very difficult. He likes it like that. His pattern is just so sporadic. Yeah. yeah. Like, look, look at that. <laughs> He's it's got like the Mr. Twice. X shuffle. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yo, do the infinite. <laughs> and since I will have time, I will try to display a glitch in this game. And it's time. And I will try to display a glitch in this game. I have time. I have like one minute. I will try to do so. So please bear with me, guys. All right. So if you're two players on stage eight, if you're uh, doing a particular thing, you can just get out of bound, and you will uh, you will be able to skip into entire stage eight almost. So I will try to do it with one hand. It's not it's so easy because I need to do four inputs on the second controller. Pat, you crazy, bro? Oh, oh yeah. let's look yeah. at that! Yeah. Woo so I will do on our desk. It's all good. So two players. It's all round one, though. So. Uh, I will try to do it very quick. All good. So you you need that the third punch of one specific in me will kill the, the, the second stanky. player. You can put the stanky face on you, boys. Good. It just makes you want a meme mug. Go on the rocket. Go good. The so I have to lower his yeah. HP. Low enough. So. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. I like hey, how his, hey, I like his hey, hair. His hair like hey, flips hey, back hey, every time. I don't. I won't have another chance. So I, I hope I will do it right. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Yo! Oh! 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 <laughs> so, yes! so what happens is that. Uh, the second player we appear in top, and I will just flip over the sprite of that is over, and I will get out of, out of bounds and skip. Yo, eight. everybody get really loud for this man. Yo, you see what he just did? Like, let's... <laughs> Woo! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
do a shout out to Plan Z, to Meredith, and to the Alter community of Street of Rage, one, two, or two, or whatever, and my goons, Dagrun, Pancakes, Cronoon, Sonic, Sonic Man. Man. Fat Buddy, Faust, and this lady here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, and thanks, Mike. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you for that great. We love you, Mike. And back to you. <laughs> it's like getting hype, y'all. My bad. Yeah, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> Well, thank you for that incredible run, Estee Pato. And uh, this will, uh, that is the only game I'll be hosting for. But uh, thank you for that uh, send off. But before I leave, uh, there are still some donations to read. So we have uh, one from Christopher M, who says, which was for $40, and says $1 for each enemy. Estee uh, Pato yeeted off the elevator. And we are going to have a quick Twitch ad break. And don't worry, we'll be right back. We have a $10 donation from Zelgius Law, who says, been watching because I've never played or seen Streets of Rage. Had to donate again, guys. This couch is so motivating. I'm all fired up tonight, my dudes. Let's get some hype and some love for this run. And with that, I will be signing off. But right before I sign off, we will have an interview for an upcoming game, Outland, with Jay Hobbs and Vuligen. Hello, everybody. My name is Jay Hobbs. I am joined by the ever-lovely Vuligen uh, back again. How are you doing, Vuligen? I'm doing all right. How are you doing, Hobbs? Uh, I'm doing great. It's weird to have you here as a runner, at, like, in terms of in wow. this portion wow. of, the, uh, okay. of the area. I'm not saying you haven't <laughs> run games before. I'm saying it's weird to have you here not on staff, like, duties. Indeed. <laughs> but it's uh, great having you back. So um, why don't you tell a lot of people a lot of, why don't you tell people a lot about uh, Outland because it's a game that I think a lot of people are not very familiar with, right? Yeah, uh, Outland's a indie Metroidvania uh, developed by a studio in Finland uh, called Housemark. Uh, it's from 2011. It's a really nice game, uh, kind of Ikaruga inspired almost. If you have played that shmup, it has kind of the same mechanic of two colors where you're navigating. Uh, obstacles and projectiles and enemies of those colors, and you have to swap between them in order to do, uh, you know, deal damage and, and get through the world. Uh, it's really challenging. It's really interesting. Uh, uh, criminally underrated uh, and undersold, for that matter. <laughs> What's one uh, one spot in the run, or like one trick, one thing, uh, what, whether it be a piece of movement tech that you use all over the place, or just one one spot? What's something that people should tune in for that run for? Uh, well, I think the like the most the single most impressive thing is the the final boss fight. We're gonna just totally trivialize uh, anybody who played the game casually knows how incredibly difficult the final boss of this game is, and uh, we're gonna do our best. <laughs> we'll see if it works out, and maybe we'll take a death or whatever. But we're gonna do our best to uh, to make it as quick as possible. 
Uh, but the thing that actually uh, got me to just say I need to run this game is just seeing the way that you navigate the game world and, uh, you know, enemies will just float around and they actually have pretty predictable movement patterns. So at one point in the run you just jump on a ledge and there's an enemy right there and you just slide right under it and then jump past it to, uh, to move on. And that just looks awesome and there's so much of that in the run so it's really fun to watch. Awesome. Uh, with you know, talking about movement tech and stuff, we actually have a great social media question from at, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher your name. I'm just going to tell you right now. Uh, at Palamanis, um, who asks, how does running Outland compare to something like Ori? Do the skills transfer over fairly well since both are platformers? Or is it like starting from scratch since it's a different game? Well, it's, uh, it is very similar. I mean, platformers are platformers. A lot of the skills do transfer very well. Uh, some of the, you know, minutia of what happens when you land on the ground from long distance, do you have, like, a delay before you can move again? Uh, how the, the physics of the game work in general uh, is really different between games and just between every game. But, uh, you know, having that background of just dealing with difficult movement and, and being able to react to things that are going on in the game world really, really helps. So it gives you a leg up, but Outland is still a game of its own, so, you know, it, it didn't you got to kind of like really come. relearn the, phys the, the quirks of the physics. Yeah, everything. exactly. Uh, well, we had another social media question that I want to ask because it's just like, I am so confused as to why, but it's so silly. I love it. Um, <laughs> from at MickLady15, they ask, what is your favorite item of clothing you own? I, I, I actually to, really like this question. I was like, is this like an inside question? Like, did you just uh, go have somebody tweet this out and it's an inside <laughs> joke or something? What's going on here? No, uh, but I don't, I don't know if, if MickLady knows this, but uh, I do like... I, ha I have very few like physical possessions that I'm really sentimental about, but I would say my single favorite piece of clothing is the GDQ staff hoodie oh. that I have. <laughs> we didn't take that from you? Uh, <laughs> we were really supposed you to did, take You that did one. tape a knot on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Not staff, uh, but that like that's a really, you know, I, 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 I worked with you guys really hard for a long time, and, uh, and we did some great things together, and we have some great memories, and, uh, and I have that piece of, of clothing to kind of remember it by, and I'm, I'm only not wearing it this week because I'm not staff anymore. <laughs> It'd be a little bit confusing. Yeah. The last thing I wanted to ask you was, what is it like being here uh, for yeah. effective, like the first time you're not being staff, basically? Yeah, it's, uh, it's confusing. <laughs> I mean, we pulled you onto the pre-show, so it can't be too different. Yeah. But like... <laughs> no, uh, I was at lunch today with uh, a couple of the staff folks who, of course, are all still my friends. And uh, we were sitting there, and, uh, you know, a message came in. One of them was, was checking Slack, and they were like, oh, you know, this thing needs to get taken care of. And I, was like, oh, I was like, oh, you know, let me pull out my phone. Like, <laughs> which, which person is this? Like, which runner do we need to, you know? I'm like, oh, oh, wait, uh, I don't need to do, do that this. anymore. Let me, just, let me just put my phone away. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> um, we'll see if I figure out how to navigate this by the end of the week, but uh, it's, it's an interesting. Yeah, I know. It's only day one, so we'll, see, we'll, we'll have to have the check-in interview with you. Yeah. Later week. All right. Well, thanks, Wuljin. I think that's pretty much going to do it for us here. Yo, wait. Hobbs. Wait. Hobbs. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. You, you promised me we could talk about prizes and stuff. Oh, that's right. Of course. But, like, how are you going to do that? Oh, man. Wuljin, you're here? G give me a hug, buddy. It's good to Yo, see you. what's up? Didn't we fire you? Under the terms of our agreement, it was voluntary. Hey, you know what? Good enough. You want to chill and talk about some prizes? <laughs> sure. Awesome. We got some great ones coming up for you guys. Um, I believe all of the prizes we are talking about now uh, are from now until Solomon's Key of it later in this morning. Um, so get those donations in while you can. Now, first off, from our good friend uh, Iggy Ziggy, who not only has donated so many cool things, but is actually helping us sort out the prizes behind the scene. Awesome, dude. We have this collection of Legend of Zelda hardcover uh, books. We have... Um, Art and Artifacts. It's, uh, it's a thick book right there. Vulgin can attest to its weight. Ooh. <laughs> we have the Legend of Zelda Encyclopedia. Very shiny cover. Very unreadable cover, but I love it. Here, pass that one down to Hobbs. Yeah, sure. Hobbs can really empower cool. Embody Wisdom. I, I believe it. This looks amazing, like, actually. <laughs> and, of course, we have the Hyrule Historia here. Um, the, tr the trinity of them come together. They are a $20 minimum donation for now until Solomon's Key. They are fresh out of the package. Beautiful books. All kinds of wonderful artwork and lore and everything you want to know about the Zelda series in there. Super cool. Uh, thank you so much to Iggy for those. Uh, from our good friend, Hella Board.
Uh, I am not hella bored looking at this minish cap cross stitch. Come on, you gotta give me some credit for this segment. I'm, try I'm trying, Hop. I'm trying. Okay. Uh, $15 minimum donation. This thing is super cool. I always love cross stitches, especially ones that just don't look like cross stitches from a distance because they're so intricate. This is one of those. I love it. Again, $15 minimum donation from now until the end of uh, Solomon's Key. Um, from our friend Art of Chelsea, we have a beautiful custom Vati figurine from the, uh, the Minish Cap series. Um, you can head over to gamesandquick.com, check out the tracker for a beautiful picture of that. And of course, we always have our wonderful grand prize, the Master Sword and Hylian Shield replicas from our friend Dave and uh, Heroic Replicas. Now, that is a $200 minimum donation, but it's cumulative. So, I mean, hey, maybe you get $20 in right now. Maybe you have a chance to win these beautiful books, that beautiful cross stitch, that wonderful Vati figurine. And hey, you're $20 on your way to the Master Sword and Hylian Show. That's 10% of the way. You're, you're getting there. And of course, it's all for a great cause. It's, I mean, as we heard from Tomas Kerman earlier, every $5, every dollar counts, you know, so. It, it really but. does. So, I mean, hey, get those donations in. They're going to a great cause, and you might win some amazing prizes. Um, and you know what, Hobbs? Uh, as always, people should head over to gamesdonequick.com, and that's where they're going to find the tracker. It's going to have everything they need to know about upcoming runners, upcoming games, uh, upcoming incentives they can put those donations towards, and upcoming prizes they can win by making those donations. All right. Well, uh, thanks a lot, Sent. It's always good to see you and Vuljin back together, not firing him this time. It's great. <laughs> Vuljin, you're fired again. <laughs> but with that, we're going to go ahead and throw it back up to the front because we got to get ready for Final Doom by King Dime. See you all later. Thank you so much for the interview there, Jay Hobbs, and that prize segment. Always nice to hear. Welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2019. I am Prolix. I'll be your host for the next game. And I made this voice. Smiley face. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you so much for, for being here with us. I have a donation of $5 from Mirage, who says, speaking of little numbers in the corner, the most important number in the corner is that constantly increasing one that helps Doctors Without Borders. Please help make that little number big. Thank you, Mirage, for the message. And yes, I'd like to remind everyone that here at SGDQ 2019, we are raising money all week long, 24-7, for Doctors Without Borders. In 2018, MSF cared for more than 11 million people caught in war zones, disasters, epidemics, urban slums, and remote and isolated regions. More than 40,000 MSF doctors, nurses, midwives, epidemiologists, water and sanitation experts, and other qualified professionals, most of whom are locally hired, ran 446 medical relief projects in over 70 countries. Their team's dedication and hard work combined with your generosity are allowing us to hospitalize 758,000 people for illnesses and injuries ranging from pneumonia and tuberculosis to war wounds and severe burns. They treated close to 2.4 million malaria patients, conducted 105,000 major surgeries, and assisted in 309,000 births, including tens of thousands of obstetric emergencies. And we They've cared for 74,000 severely malnourished children in their feeding centers and vaccinated nearly 1.5 million children during outbreaks of measles. Increasingly, in many parts of the world, people are facing the hostile realities of war, disease, persecution, and extreme poverty. While these crises can seem overwhelming, Doctors Without Borders and locally hired staff are able to provide medical care and clean water that save lives every single day, something that is only made possible through our joint efforts. So thank you so much for all of your donations. Uh, Ultima3332 donated $250. They said, this is the first time I've been able to watch GDQ live, and so far, it's been great. Good luck to all runners, and always happy to support Doctors Without Borders. Thank you for that. And we're just about finished setting up here for our next run. That's right, it is Final Doom. That's the TNT Evolution map set uh, played on Ultra Violence, the Speed Flags by King Dime. It's going to be.